Hi, this is John from Proper Coils, and today we're having a look at the Neon Sauce range from NM Labs. So the backstory to this juice line is Nick from NM Labs uh, Nevins uh, met me over in the UK at the UK Expo a few weeks ago, and he gave me this nice presentation box. Um, he's recently released released the neon sauce range from NM Labs. So this is how it comes. So it comes in a plain black box, and if I open it up. You have some very nice presentation. So this this wooden card holder was made by Scott Wood, um, SW Projects on Instagram. You'll find him there. Um, no, I had to cover the the NM Labs website here, and I've done the same on the thank you cards, um, just to keep YouTube happy. But uh, basically, this is holding some description cards. So we'll go through those in a sec. Um, but it, it's a nice little touch, very cool. You also get a thank you card, and I'm, I can't show you what it says in the thank you card because, again, it has the some websites on it. But um, I'm sure you know how to find um, NM Labs if you've uh, Googled through it. So the Neon Sauce range is four, four different juices. Uh, you have lemon bar, you have the ginge, you have the snob, and you have the slimer. So we're going to take them out of this nice presentation box. And we'll go through the different flavors. So first of all, we have lemon bar. So lemon bar is warmly spiced lemon Madeira cake drizzled with icing and dipped in lemon curd. So that is our first one. Second, we have the ginge. Uh, we, the ginge is a Jamaican-style sticky ginger cake accompanied by a sweet vanilla custard. Third, we have the snub, a fruity medley of mixed red berries, including strawberry, raspberry, and cranberry, all tied together with guava and sweet champagne. So that is the snub. And then lastly, we have Slimer, and Slimer is a sweet, zingy blast of frozen lime candy blended into a slushy. So that is the four flavors. I'm not going to show you the all around the bottle because in the back, again, we have some um, websites which we're not allowed to show because of YouTube. But uh, So I can show, show you the front of the bottles. Um, so yeah, the packaging, I think, is really pretty cool. Um, I'll show you all them all together though. They, um, it does what it says in the tin. The colors sort of match the flavor profiles, which is good. So I'm basically what I'm going to do is um, similar to my last juice review. I'm going to rank these one to four. Um, I'm going to, <clears throat> again, do the same as I done the last time. So I've got four freshly wicked mech mods here. So... We're going to juice up the Kennedy Vindicator first. So in that, I have some three-core Staggerfuse Clapton's freshly wicked, and we're going to put some neon, neon sauce lemon bar on that. There we go. Second, we're going to be using the Purge Purge Slam piece and the Asgard Mini. Again, it's all freshly wicked. Coils in that are some Tree Core Aliens. All coils used in this review is obviously proper coils. And he's nowhere to get them. And third, we have the, the Torture Mech. And on top of that, we have the 28mm Purge RDA. And we're going to put some some of the snob on that. So 
And in that, we have some 0.11 st- uh, two core stagger fuse claptons. They're going to be uh, released on the website in the next couple of weeks. So keep your eye out on the proper coils website for that. And lastly, we have the Iona 18650 mech mod. And in that, I have some 0.09 frame staples. And we're going to put some slime onto, onto that. We'll get those wicks nice and wet. So that is the <coughs> has the four setups we're using all juiced up and ready to rock. So we're gonna bring it back up top and we're going to I'll give you my one to four. One is gonna be my favourite and four is going to be my least favourite and give you my just general opinions on the neon sauce rings from NM Labs. So let's bring it back up top. So back up top with the neon sauce range from NM Labs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my least favorite and work my way up to my favorite. So number four of the range for me is uh, the snub. So as I read earlier, it's a fruit medley of mixed red berries, including strawberry, raspberry and cranberry, all tied together with guava and sweet champagne. So before I start going through the juices, just to say, obviously this is all very subjective. So some person, some people are going to like the snob better than, better than the rest. Some people are going to like others better than the rest. And um, this is obviously my just my opinion. Um, the snob is it's interesting. It's not just your normal fruit mix. It's um, you get your guava, you get your sweet champagne. Um, I personally just don't. Um, I'm not a fan of mixed berries and in gen- like uh, any. I've never, I've never really liked any mixed berry juice. Um, I've tried before. I've never been a massive fan of. I've never. It's never been an all day vape for me. So it was probably never going to be my number one. Um, I can see if if you like fruity vapes or if you like mixed berry vapes. Um, it's 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 a it's a fine juice. Um, it's not something I'd never use. Um. It's something I'd probably use one tank of in a day and then I'd, I'd change it up with something else. But um, it's um, it's not bad. It's not a bad juice, but uh, it's just not my cup of tea. It's not my flavor profile, but um, I can see how def- people would, would like it if you're into that sort of thing. Of the, all the berries coming through for me, it's probably... Um, the cranberry and raspberry to the front more than anything else. Um, you're definitely getting that guava. It's not um, it's not to the front like the raspberry and cranberry for me. You can definitely get the guava in the background though, and you can get a bit of the champagne. Um, the description of it is very accurate. Um, so if you're thinking, if you're into your fruits and you're into your mixed berries, um, it might be something you're interested. In. But for me, that's number four. Number three, then, is going to be the lemon bar. Now, I am a fan of lemon, um, lemon vapes, and um, I actually really like this lemon vape, um, or lemon juice. Um, but for me, it's a little bit too sweet. Um, it's something, it's not an old day vape again for me, um, but it is, uh, it's something that I'll definitely use in the future, um, you can get the cake. You just that it's it's very no if if no if you didn't know the flavor profile and someone had it, you're obviously going to get the lemon. You can get the lemon straight away, and it's obvious it's a lemon cake. Um, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet, which is good. Um, it's 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 a nice juice, and um, I've I've nothing really bad to say about it. Um, I definitely um recommend it to any people that are into or lemon vapes. Um, but it's just. The other two for me are just really, really nice. Whereas this is nice. Um, that's probably the best way I can explain it. Um, it's a nice lemon. It's a nice lemon cake. If you if you like that, you'll like this. Yeah, 
You can guess the description of that one is the warm, warmly spiced lemon Madeira cake drizzled with icing and dipped in lemon curd. It's a very, again, the description is very good. You're getting all of that. You're getting your icing. Um, you're getting, obviously, I said earlier, your lemon cake. Um, it's it's very accurate to the description. Um, and it's it's a it's a nice lemon juice, definitely a nice lemon juice. But um, it's chem toured because the yeah, one and two for me is super nice. So two, so I'm going to give away one, but two is Slimer. So Slimer is the sweet zingy blast of frozen lime candy blended with blended into a slushy. Um, when I got these juices first, so you obviously know ginger is number one now. Once I said the Slimer is two. When I got the juices off Nevins at Expo, and I opened the box, I you obviously look at the flavor profiles and stuff, and I opened up the cows and descriptions, and my instant reaction was right. I'm gonna like lemon best, and then I'm gonna. Maybe like Slimer. I, th- I thought Ginge would be my least favourite and it turned out to be my favourite. Um, and then I thought the fruit, the, um, the snob would be sort of uh, in the middle somewhere, but it, w- it wasn't like that at all. Um, Slimer is, it's just a really refreshing, nice vape. Um, there's a bit of cooling in there, but it's, it's not like overloaded with, with, with cooling. Um, I don't know what cooling is using, but it's, it's, it's a nice cooling. It's not overpowering at all. Um, the lime's just really nice. It's the description where he says zingy blast. It's re, it's just like a zingy. It's a definitely a zingy juice. Um, and the lime just hits you, and it's it's a nice lime. Um, for me, I could. I could vape that all day in an RDA, RTA. No, but I have been vaping it all. There's, like, there's there's very little left in that. There's very little left of the ginge and the slimer because, so I, like I was actually worried I was going to vape it all before I got the review done. Um, so I said I better get done today before it's all gone. So um, yeah, slimer really really nice. Um, I've never I don't think I've ever had a have a had a lime, like a. A juice with a lime to the front before. Um yeah, really nice. And the cooling is it's got just enough cooling for me. On to number one. So the ginge, uh complete surprise for me. When I seen the the four flavour profiles, I just presumed I'm 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 not gonna like that. Um so again the flavour profile on the description card is a Jamaican style sticky ginger cake accompanied with by a sweet vanilla custard. I do like custards, but when when it said ginger cake, I I wasn't sure I was going to like it. But it is um absolutely fantastic. Um, probably up there of the ju- of the new juices I tried this year. Um, it's probably up there with um with white rabbit from Steampugs. Steampugs um gave me his white rabbit over at Expo as well, and that's that's one of the best custards I've ever ever had. And this is right up there with it as well. Um, I'll I'd. I highly recommend this. It's it's even if you're not into that sort of flavor profile, I'd say just try it because it'll it'll really surprise you. It's really 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 nice. All of the all of the range is has has a, has definitely has a sweetener to it. Um, but it's not like um it's not overpowering. It, it he hasn't over overdone it on the sweetener. It's not like the levels of sweetener you get from like American juices or Filipino juices. It's um, if there was any more sweetener on it, it might be too sweet. But it's just right. It's just the right amount of sweetener. Um, but the ginge is um for me is really 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 nice. Um, the ginge the ginger cake is to the front. Um, you know instantly it's a custard, and there's a bit of, bit of vanilla there as well. It's it's really 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 nice. Um, before I finish up, I didn't say on the down low as well. These are all uh, 80, 20, or an 80, 20 mix. So it's 80 VG, 20 PG. Um, there are 50 ml bottles and the box came with for a uh, Nick Shots. I'm not sure what way he walks down the website, but I'm sure it says it on the website. Um, so that, yeah, that was the review of the neon sauce range from NM Labs. Um, very impressed, very very impressed. And if um, if you're 
if you were unsure about them, I'd, in my opinion, I'd go for the ginger and the slimer. Um, but again, if you're into your lemon, um, grab the lemon. Um, it it all it's very subjective. Obviously, it it depends on what you like. Um, but I'd regardless of what you like, if you're ordering from the website, I definitely order the ginger and just to try it. Um, because I think it'll surprise you. So yeah, that was uh, that was the review of the neon sauce range from NM Labs. If you like the review or you like the reviews in general, make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell. If you're looking for any handmade coils, make sure you head over to propercoils.com. I hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you again next time.